on the last episode of 2023, Stuffy was on the verge of a momentous achievement. He was only 56 I rating away from his all time highest I rating. However, he screwed up his qualifying and so started 14th. So, the race began and he made a tremendous start, gaining several positions into the first corner. And by the end of lap one, he was into seventh place. Another position was gained, but it still was not enough for Stuffy to achieve greatness. He needed one more position to be in with a shot. And it wasn't until the penultimate lap that he got his chance and he took it. But was it enough? No. So in today's episode, Stuffy tries again. Can he achieve his highest I rating? He's at Okayama for a Super Formula Fix race, a combination that is more comparable to driving at an ice rink than a racetrack. So he starts dead last in the hope of picking up freebies and gaining the required six I rating to achieve greatness. 21st, 13 laps. Here we go. Here we go, be ready. Floor it. Nice and easy start. Sure there'll be some incidents as I've seen contact up ahead. On your left, incident in Williams, left side. Clear left. He nearly hit me. Okay, let's find a good rhythm. Make some places. Thought we was about to just get a snap there as he rejoined. Taking us a little bit away from the pack. But it's giving us a bit of a breather. There's an incident in Hobbs. Oh dear, another one off. Looks like it's bully dope. Cough. Jim's busy, isn't he? Giving me warnings. There's like no downforce in this car on this setup. Oh, oh! Night, night. I thought we caught it about three times there, and then it, on the fourth, it went. As I was saying, this setup has very little downforce. And on cold tires, it's horrendous. It's like driving on an on a It's like driving on an ice rink. If Okuyama wasn't all about survival in the first place. They make it really hard with a setup like this. The leader's just done it. 113.6. P17. Sectors 2 and 3 are 0.5 off the pace. Sector 1 is 0.8 off the pace. Damn it. Track limits, watch those lines. Right, she's a bit pushed past, try and catch up.
gap to Petrowski. In front is now 1.1. New fastest lap for Hunt, 113.1. Bit more grip there. Big gaggle in front. Slightly catching, slightly. Again, they're fighting side by side over here. This is going to help us. This is going to help us. Turn, you bastard. Understeer, man. Understeer. Try and use some more pusher pass. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable in this setup whatsoever. The gap to Petrowski ahead is now 0.9. Oh, a bit of side by side action now! Thank you. It looks like Canter. We take those, we take those. Let's attack Stefan in front. Fastest lap for Hunt, 112.9. Oh, he's using his push to pass. Try and get away from me, I can't use it at the moment, got the recharge. 60 seconds until I can use it. P15, your last oh. time was 114.7. Sure, there's a few more freebies and a bit more to this race. Before the end. Ah, a bit of rear wheel spin there. Left, he's pushed a pass on for a long time. Might be using it all now. That's your best lap in this session. Wide. Which isn't a bad thing. For me. Because if he's not getting away from us. That much. We push the pass. Right, he hasn't. He's stopped using it, so I might use it in this next lap. Start the next lap, I think, and try and close the gap. Ah, oh, no, Scott. He was completely the wrong gear there. I thought I was in first. The 
down to Petrovsky. Ahead is now 1.4. Come on. Five laps. Gaggle with cars up ahead. Push a pass. Not really that effective around here, I feel. I just can't get close enough. That's your quickest lap in this session. Incident in last corner. It looks like it's fully done. The answer, Petrowski, in front is now 0.7. Still in negative IR as well, so this race is not going the way we want to. I thought it'd be a bit more carnage. Everyone's been a bit nicey nicey. Oh, that'll do. There's an incident in Piper. It looks like Petrowski. Come on. V14. Eighteen negative eighteen IR. Need a couple more positions tonight. Come on, these boys, these boys have got to have something left in them. I think I am hoping for freebies, to be honest, or at least kind of wheel to wheel fighting in front so fall back within our grasp I haven't got the pace advantage unfortunately Go on, lads. Someone send it. Please. I just feel like I'm forever fighting the wheel in this setup. The gap in front is now 1.7 seconds. Two. 
two laps left. All right, let's try to use that push to pass a bit earlier. With two laps left. That lap was at 113.4. That's your best lap in the session. using push to pass ahead in front as well they're a bit closer in front of him though surely something's going to happen here on the last lap the leader's just done it 112.5 we're catching up Here we go, last lap. 20 seconds left to push a pass. Last lap. Massive understeer in the first corner. Never helps. We are positioned to capitalise if something happens. We need Julian to try and pull something if he can. Or maybe the other way round, maybe Oliver. Someone's got to send it here. Come on. Fastest lap for Hunt. Nah, too nicey nicey. The leader has just done a 112.5. Ah. Across the line. First race of the year. Not as I wanted or expected. B14. Uh, okay, that's the end. Good shame there in the end. Shame there. I, I don't know how, how those guys are so quick in a setup and conditions that are just like driving on an ice rink, to be perfectly honest with you. That's what it feels like. But, um, ah, uh, we're actually lost IR there. Of course, we started at the back, but. I really thought, really thought there'd be more crashes with the conditions and just with experience of racing, racing Okayama. So um, I suppose credit to, to those guys who finished ahead of us. But yes, we finish outside of positive IR and that makes us lose 18. So um, yeah, let's go have a look um, at those results. So there we are, guys. Confirmation minus 18 puts us... Not too far away, still only one decent result away from our all-time uh, highest IR of 3276. Um, so a little bit more work to do, but yeah, I, I, I just thought there'd be more freebies. I really thought there'd be more freebies. Um, really tricky track. Not sure if this is where I'm going to achieve this... Um, yeah, this accolade this week, if I'm honest with you, um, I may have to see what the open setup is like and see if it's any better. Um, but yeah, uh, th that combination is very, very sketchy. And I must admit, I didn't really enjoy that too much. I don't say that uh, very often about the Super Formula, if ever. Um, so yeah, just my opinion, but a little bit of a uh, safety rating gain, so that's something at least. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you enjoying this combo this week? Um, I suppose it's a, an okay start to the season, a clean start to the season, or the year, uh, shall we say. Um, so yeah, uh, things can only get better. Maybe next time I'll, I'll try and qualify, uh, of course. Definitely a track where I think qualifying is key. Um, so we'll do that moving forward, uh, because yeah, I think overtaking is a little bit difficult around here. Um, Especially with yeah this this fixed setup and that that combo, not 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 too big of a fan. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.